Hi, this is my home lab. I don't use VPN servers. I don't worry about port forwarding. I don't mess with firewall rules. I use Cloudflare tunnels to securely access services running my home lab. So in this video, I'll show you what Cloudflare tunnels is. Then I'll show you how to use it to securely access services you might be running on your data center, your VPS, or your home lab like I have right here. Uh, that's all we'll be taking a look at in this video. My name is Confidence. I am a developer advocate at Cloudflare. Without any delay, let's get started. So let's start by talking about what Cloudflare tunnels are. Cloudflare tunnels securely connect your server to the internet through encrypted outbound only tunnels, which eliminates the need for setting up inbound firewall ports and enhances protection from direct attacks. So it's a secure way to expose services running on your server to the internet so they can be securely accessed. And I have this diagram on screen to help you understand how Cloudflare tunnels work under the hood. So take a look at this diagram and to this end of the diagram, this is your data center or VPS or server running in your home lab. Um, and it doesn't matter what computer it is, but this server has a bunch of services you are interested in accessing from the internet. So this could be web services, this could be database services, you name it. We have a bunch of them on this server. server service one, service two, service three. And we want to access them from the internet. So how does Cloudflare tunnels work? You install a tunnel agent on your data center or home lab or server, and that agent establishes a secure connection to Cloudflare's global network. And then when you have a request coming in from a domain you have set up to talk to that tunnel, say for example, service1.example.com, that connects to Cloudflare's global network. And because you already have a tunnel set up for that domain and for that specific service, that request is forwarded to the tunnel where you have the agent running and the agent acts as a proxy to route that connection to whatever service you have set that up to be. So in this case, that's going to be routed to service one. What this means is that you don't have to expose your entire data center or server to the internet. And it means you don't have to worry about setting up firewall rules, uh, opening up a uh, port on your router, worrying about static IP addresses, worrying about setting up VPN servers and clients and paying for it because all of this is free, which makes it really awesome. So in this video, I'll show you how to set this up and I also leave resources to help you get started towards the end of the video. Without any delay, let's get into actually setting this up and using Cloudflare tunnels to expose services that you have running in your servers. So to show you how to set this up, I have prepared a server that has a bunch of services we want to expose to the internet. I'm just going to SSH into the server. All right, and if we do a quick Neo fetch, uh, you notice we're in a completely different environment. I have a Raspberry Pi running Debian, and this is the details of the machine. And if we do a clear screen and do a Docker PS, uh, you notice we have two services running inside of the server I'm interested in. We have Snapdrop, which is running on port uh, 8002, and we have OpenWeb UI, which is running on port 8001. And I can go access these services in the browser. So let's head back to my browser and open up HTTP. Okay, so that's 8001. And I can copy this. Let's go to 8002. This is 8002 where we have Snapdrop. If you don't know what Snapdrop is, it is an open source alternative to AirDrop. So go check that out. And of course, we have OpenWeb UI, which is like chat GPT, but running with your own private models. So this is, I have my own setup powered by Cloudflare Workers AI, and you can see we have all of the awesome models here. I can see Hi, for example, and Llama 4 has responded. So these are the services I'm running locally, and I want to be able to access them from the internet without have to worry about setting up firewall, worrying about VPN or port forwarding, all of that stuff. And that is where Cloudflare tunnels come in. So to get started, you need two things. First, you need a Cloudflare account, which you can sign up for on dash.cloudflare.com. I'll show you how to go about that. Then you also need a domain connected to your Cloudflare account. I'll leave resources down below to show you how to connect a domain you already own, which may have been purchased from a different provider or a new one you can buy from Cloudflare. So let's go to dash 
thecarfair.com. And if this is your first time, you might need to create an account or sign in with Google or Apple. So I have my account here. And as you can see, I have my domain already connected to Cloudflare. Again, I'll leave resources on how to do this in the description of the video. My domain is megaconfidence.me. So let's scroll down to set up the tunnel. I am on the menu here. And I'm just going to scroll down to zero trust. And then scroll down to networks and select tunnels. And this is where I get to create a tunnel on that domain that connects to my server. Again, I'll have to have a tunnel agent installed on my server, and that is going to proxy the traffic coming from Cloudflare's network to my, to my server and from my server to the network without opening up our firewall ports. So let's uh, get started by creating a tunnel. And I'm going to be using the Cloudflare D daemon to set up my tunnel. So I'm going to give this a name. Let's call this home lab because I have the server running in my home lab. So let's create that tunnel. And uh, this is the information I need to create the tunnel. So there are lots of options depending on what kind of setup you have for your tunnel. You can run this tunnel agent on Windows, on Mac OS, on Debian, on Red Hat Linux, on Docker. We'll be going with the Docker install because I have a Docker setup. But again, the process is going to be the same regardless of what kind of server you have your services running on. Also, don't worry about these API keys and secrets. I'm going to have them deleted after this video. So let's go select Docker. And this is the command I need to copy paste in my server to bring up a Docker container with Cloudflare tunnel running with my token configured and ready to go. So I can actually copy this and paste it, but I have a slightly different setup because I want to run this using Docker Compose. And to see the Docker Compose command uh, that I have for this, I have a GitHub account. You can go check this out at uh, github.com forward slash mega confidence. Don't forget to smash the follow button on my repo. But I'm just going to head over here and go to Cloudflare Tunnel. And this is the Docker Compose setup I'll be using, which is the exact same thing as the Docker command, but um, I have this reusable in Compose. So I'll copy this over again. Now let's head back to my server. If I do a quick LS, we can see the into sandbox. And if we do a quick LS, this is where I have the services running, Snapdrop and open web UI. Uh, this is the directory structure for stuff I have in there. So I'm just going to create a folder for tunnels. All right, and let's create a Docker Compose file. And here I can paste in the content of the file I copied earlier. So uh, let's save this for now and then we walk through this. So this is everything you saw in the Docker uh, command, uh, but I have just added a few extras such that if the tunnel ever stops, for any reason, it should automatically restart. I'm going to be passing in the token through the environment variables, and that means I have to create a .env file. And finally, this is really important, I'm setting the tunnel to run inside of the host network, which means later on when I continue with the setup, I will be addressing those services using localhost, not the Docker IP address or not also the IP address of my machine because any of those can change. So I'm going to be using localhost, which makes things really uh, clean and easy. So let's go up and create a, an env file. So let's create an env file. And this is where we have our token. I don't know what the value is, so I'll head back to the dashboard and let's grab the value from this Docker run command. That's my token, and I have this setup complete. So this is this is all good and fine. Um, I can close this editor, and we can run a Docker Compose up to bring up this service with the configuration that we have just made. So let's do a Docker Compose up dash d, and what this is going to do is that if I don't already have the image, it's going to pull the image and then create a container service running Cloudflare D inside of it, which is awesome. So it's done that already because I have the image and this should be up and running because we have the state now set to started. So let's head back to my dashboard. And if I head back to the overview of my tunnels, we should have my home lab tunnel running. 
and you can see that the status is healthy which means i have been able to su successfully connect the tunnel agent or daemon running inside of my server to my cloudflare account which is awesome so the last thing i'll have to do here is just tell it what services that is running internally that i'm interested in um, accessing from the internet and in this case don't forget it's open web ui and also snapdrop so we just have to go into the configuration of this tunnel and tell it what those services are how to access those services and we should be able to access this from the internet so let's do that in the next part now i'm going to click on the tunnel and then i'll go click on the edit button and here you want to go to the published application routes and you want to go add a new application so let's click on the button to add a new application you can set a subdomain for this application for me i'm just going to call open web ui chat that's the domain i'll be using for it so let's head back here and say chat and then i select what domain i want this to be on again this is going to be on my mega confidence the me domain i already have connected to my cloudflare account and if you want to set a sub path that's also fine it's optional then here is where you tell cloudflare what internal service to route this connection to that's the internal service running on your server so you tell you what protocol this is going to be this is going to be http because internally this service is running on a http port and you tell it what the um what the ip address and port is so i'm going to be using localhost and that is running on port 8001 and then i can click on the save button and i have created a dns record for chat at chat.megaconfidence.me and this is going to route to the internal service running on localhost 8001 so let's see if this works i'm going to click on the button here and tada it works it's routing this connection from this public domain chat.megaconfidence.me to my server running internally so i can again log in here and you can see the chat history we have had so far so i just logged in we can see the chat history i can see how are you for example and lama4 is going to respond and if you head back here and do a quick refresh we should see the exact same chat history here because it's the same service but over here i'm accessing it through the local ip but on the other hand but on the other hand i am accessing it through a tunnel i have created using cloudflare d which is really awesome so i can take this url give it to my friends and they are going to be able to access this when they create an account and they are able to log in so this is really awesome let's uh, wrap things up by adding the second service so let's do a quick refresh here and i'm going to add the service for snapdrop so this is going to be snap snapdrop and i'll select the domain this is https and this is localhost 8002 and we'll click on save and let it do its thing and something you notice here that the beauty is i'm only exposing the services i want to expose and not my entire server so if i only wanted to have chat uh the, the open web VR, which is going to be at chat.megaconfidence.me accessible from the internet it means no other service running in my server or in my network will be accessible from the internet which makes things really really secure so this is cool this is done now so when i click on this uh you can see we have the snap job service running and this is a public um, domain that anyone can access which is awesome because i've been able to securely expose these services running on my home lab to the internet awesome and that's it so this is how easy it is to securely access your local services using cloudflare tunnels i'm going to be leaving links to resources in the description below and of course i'm also going to be leaving this repository that's on screen right now so you can see the setup guide and copy paste commands that you might need for your own setup process if you have any questions please feel free to ask us in the comment section and i will see you in the next video take care Bye.